Welcome to Enchanted Story and Craft Time with Lady Sherry. We're here at the Nicholson Public Library. We're a part of the Piedmont Regional Library System. Today our book is Do Not Bring Your Dragon to the Library by Julie Gassman. It's part of the series of books and you can find several of them even in Spanish within our system. Do Not Bring Your Dragon to the Library. When you visit the library, please keep in mind no running, no shouting, to all books be kind. But there's one rule that's bigger than the rest, and it must be followed by all of our guests. Do not bring your dragon to the library. A dragon is sometimes a very big beast. At story time, he'll take up 10 spaces at least. A dragon's big bottom can pack a real punch. Each time he sits down, you'll hear a great crutch. So do not bring your dragon to the library. You might ask her to come to a library show, but trouble will start with the first song she knows. Her swaying hips will crowd your space with a dragon jig that has no grace. So do not bring your dragon to the library. Maybe you're thinking, don't worry, it's fine. There's plenty of space in that library of mine. Perhaps that's true, but he's sure to roam. Then you'll be wishing you had left him at home. So do not bring your dragon to the library. You see, aisles of books are hard to resist. She's sure to find sections that cannot be missed. As she starts to read, she can overexcite, and then chances are her flame will ignite. So do not bring your dragon to the library. I know, I know, what you're saying is true, but leaving him home will make me quite blue. It's my favorite place. Please listen to me. My dragon would love our library. Movies and computers and places to read, tales of heroes and adventure, of good and of grief. Cookbooks and bios, oh, listen to my plea. May I please bring my dragon to the library? I'm afraid, my kind friend, I cannot agree. A dragon in the library, it simply can't be. But don't fret and don't frown. I have a solution. Listen now to my smart substitution. Your dragon should not miss the library treasures. Just take home some books for her reading pleasure. If you use your card often, you will very soon see that you never have to bring your dragon to the library. So today our craft is making a dragon, and you'll see on the table we have two. This is Marvin, and this is Serafina. Serafina is a little bit more decorative, as you can see. Inside your make and take craft, you will find the following items. You should have one toilet paper tube, a piece of construction paper. It could be any color. Two large size palms, craft palms. Two medium craft palms. Four Chanel wires or and you will also find two googly eyes along with some streamers, yellow, orange, and red. You're going to be needing a glue, you're going to need some glue, either a glue gun, a glue stick, or an Elmer's glue. For the purpose of our craft, we're using the glue gun because it dries faster. The Elmer glue will take a little bit longer, but you don't have to have parents or guardians with you when you do it. If you're going to use a glue gun, no kids, you make sure you have that. Step one is to take the toilet tissue tube, and glue and the construction sheet 
and glue it to the toilet paper tube. And I'm putting the glue across the tube. Pressing it down so that it adheres. And like I said, you can do this with Elmer's glue. And you're going to gently roll the tube up into the construction paper so that it covers the tube completely. Some glue here. And you're going to set this aside for just a couple of minutes. So the next step is we're going to take the pipe cleaners or the Chanel wires, whichever you like to call them, and the two small craft palms. You're going to put a dot of glue and you're going to attach one of the cleaners. And you're going to set it to the side for just a second. And you're going to take and repeat the process. Another one. This side. For the larger palms, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put a dot of glue in the center and put one of the fun googly eyes right there. So you'll see how it can move. You're going to repeat on the other one. Like so. Now, while you have the larger palm, you're going to take and you're going to put a dot of glue and attach one of the pipe cleaners. Let's see. And you can see with the glue gun, it's a little stringy. That's okay. So we're going to take the little dot of glue back here to the other antler. And you can actually take and bend them however you wish. This is your dragon, so be as creative as you'd like. Okay. Toilet paper tube. You're going to take it. And as you can see on Serafina, she's a little bit more decorative than our friend Marvin. So you can actually draw scales with a magic marker, Sharpie, crayons. You can be as creative as you want because this is your draft. All right, so you're going to take the end of the toilet paper tube that's been covered. You're going to put a dot of glue. And you're going to take and put your streamers in here. And you're going to want to rotate the colors. And you can put them in in any order that you wish. Red, orange, and yellow. And like I said, you can rotate them however you want because this is your drive. Now you can set your dragon down here. You're going to take the smaller palm with the wire hanging there. And you're going to attach it to the end right here so you have a snout. Now you have your dragon. Please 
please be sure to take a picture and share it on our Facebook pages. We want to see your beautiful creations. And remember, never forget to add your sparkle.